Hello, this is Sage, the Balloon Sage, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this amazing balloon laser gun. This is probably the most advanced one you've ever seen, at least I hope so, because that's the idea. And it's not really that hard because it's pretty much the same technique. You make these uh, loops and these pinch twists, and you make combos of that. From the details to the actual structure, pretty much all the same, but if you use the right color palettes and you make certain details, these can look quite impressive. So, how do we make it? Let me show you. You can see how that all works. You're going to start off, you're going to need a silver 260 and three onyx black 260s. Start out with a, a 260, inflate it all the way, and as with many gun designs, and with my gun designs as well, you start off with a tulip twist. Make sure to secure it, suck the knot up into the middle, just like that. Now you bend it over, and you want this top part to protrude a little farther, and you want to keep this round. You do not want this bent. So, pull out our black 260, and inflate it, maybe the four fingers attempt. Not like that, I'm sure it's fine. Okay, you tie it. And uh, although there's three sets of these, uh, they're pretty much all the same with slight differences. The first one, you start out with a pair of pinch twists. Now you wrap it around, I'd say right about here, give a little space for that uh, little bit of tail that you pop now. Tie that off. Now you don't want it too tight and you don't want it too loose. Try to make these even. Okay. You want to make a three finger bubble. And on this one, you do make another set of pin sticks, like this. Okay. Another wrapping loop. You'll see the, uh, <laughs> the repetition here. But it can do some uh, marvelous things. And to finish this off, you're going to want to create a back handle. There you go. There you go. So the frame requires three sets of loop and pinch twist combos. The first one I showed you how to do. The middle one is two pinch twists and then one, and this will act as the trigger. And on this one, you want a two finger uh, bubble there instead of three, as you can see there, a little smaller. And the last one is the same as the first two sets of small pinch twists to create the full frame. Just like that. I do want to make it clear that this gun is all about customization. Now you can make any part of it longer, shorter, um, more pronounced. You can do as many of these details as you want, or as few. You can use any color palette you want. I call this the Pharaoh's War Machine version because it uses uh, gold and sapphire blue. It's kind of evocative of the Egyptian colors. And I actually even draw hieroglyphics on this, but since there was only two balloons, two golds left, I didn't want to accidentally pop them. I wanted to show this version. But uh, as you can see, it's pretty much the same design, but it's all about variations, and with practice you'll be able to come up with your own. Now, onto the bottom part, we're going to create the, uh, I guess you could consider this to be a clip. I think that's the end of the, yeah, that's the end of the black 260s. Tie that on, just like this. And I would measure out 18 fingers, probably. Just for this one, I'm going to measure out 18. And simply tie it on through there, through the middle, around, and... In this picture you can see how it's supposed to look as the Pharaoh's War Machine. Again, you can see the little hieroglyphics I did there. But uh, for our purposes right now, because I have no other golds, I'm going to show it to you in blue, this top part there. So begin with the longer of the balloons and make two small pinch twists. Once you've 
done that. I'm going to wrap it around, starting at the top here. All the way around, just like this. got your inverted loop there. Again, it's just the loops and the pinch twists is the same thing over and over again. But you use it to its full advantage. Do a, I'd say maybe three finger bubble. And follow that up with a pinch twist. Like that. Pinch twist. And just do the same thing actually between these two sets right here. For the clip details, grab two black 160s. Start at the back, flip, make a loop and a pinch twist. After creating these loops, I took my second black 160 and created this nice string of bubbles right here and tied it in, just like that. And I have to say, I really think it balances the whole gun and puts it all together. You could even, if you did this in the silver, like with a silver 160, you could even say that this is uh, a saw blade on the end of your gun if you really want to get crazy with it. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. The only thing we have to do is finish off with three loops and three pinch twists. The same thing we did basically throughout this whole design. Thank you very much for joining me on this tutorial. I've got a lot of stuff on the way. And I really hope everybody likes this design as much as I do. I spent a lot of time coming up with it, and it's one of my favorites. So, please like, please subscribe, and join me on my next tutorial.